Right guys, welcome back. Um, I'm rushing because I had a phone call from my neighbour. I parked my car around the corner and he just reported someone's broken into the car, smashed the window out. I am going to check it out now. I am fuming. Right, you're going to see this live with me because I've not seen it before yet. So let's have a look. Fuck's sake. Fucking cunts. Oh, for a sodding stereo. Bunch of fucking cunts. So as I say, I've just got to the car. My neighbours informed me that someone's broken through the window. And uh, this is the result. And they've stolen the stereo. As far as I can see at the moment. Um, obviously there's glass everywhere. And all over the kids' seats. Fucking great. Um... Luckily, I actually switched the car using my Revo switch, so they couldn't even start the car anyway. Oh, they wouldn't have got anywhere because it just died, the engine dies. But they haven't taken anything else by the looks of it. I'm just going to try and clear this up and um, work out what to do next, really. Uh, right, so the car's been broken into. Um, the windscreen's missing and the stereo has gone. Um, as to far, there's some other damage on the steering lock. Um, Possibly tried to take the car, but I've uh, I put the Revo stage two. I've got the switch, so I'd put that into auto theft mode, so they couldn't start the car. Um, but yeah, uh, this is where we are at the moment. Um, oh, I'm so pissed off. I can't believe, man. I'm just ridiculous. Over a hundred quid, basically. lock damage down there I mean I haven't got in the car to see if there's anything else yet but the stereo was politely taken out nicely thank you very much there seems to be a bit of a scratch on the boost gauge over there I'll have a look at that in a minute I don't know if anything else has gone as of yet oh they left a CD thank you um, yeah for the sake of that I think it was like 90 quid or something <laughs> fucking idiots uh, anyway, we're going to try and clear up all this mess. I uh, can't get auto glass to get the windscreen done until Monday. So oh, I'll have to just strip the car down at the moment. Right, so slowly getting there, um, taking each piece off individually. I'm not close enough to the house to even get a hoover to the car so we're having to pick these up and um but there's already some scratches on the leather um obviously i've just mentioned that this is damaged uh, i haven't really seen any further i haven't entered any further into the car to get into the seat to check out all of this there's a scratch up here i don't know if that's damaged um Nothing else seems to be missing. What fucks me off is there's glass all over the, the kids' seats. So, you know, it's a clean-up job. All oh, this glass all down in the door card. So, that's going to have to come off. Um, yeah, fucking fuming. Over a stereo. Which is like 90 quid. Pointless. Absolutely fucking pointless. Right, so I've cleaned the seat um, just into a position where I can get into the car. Um, I'm going to go and try and get this hoovered out. Um, the window is in pretty bad nick. Well, there isn't a window, but in terms of 
now having to try and sort all this mess out is a pain. Um, yeah. So luckily, I'd put the anti theft mode on this so the car wouldn't start anyway um we're just going to start it now and see what happens this is obviously broken so hopefully i haven't done any damage internally there um yeah i'm just going to get in the car now and let's just check out and around they kindly even left pound thank me um Neatly took out the stereo. Uh, I'm not sure what they've done here. Hopefully they haven't messed up. Messed up the boost gauges. I'm not sure. No, they're still all wired in actually. That's just a bit of dirt, so luckily these aren't damaged. So we lost the surround. Okay, we lost the stereo. Let's just see if we can start this car and then get to uh, a position where we can get it hoovered. Um, yeah. Yeah, they fiddled around with the steering because the steering is too low and the chair has been moved. So they're obviously, I think the intentions were to drive off with it. Um... Okay, everything else looks okay. Um, well, let's try and start it. All right, guys, so I'm going to try and turn on the car. See what happens. Okay, everything's come up. Let's start the car. Okay, we're on. So hi guys, I'm not going to bore you anymore with, you know, the car's got broken into, is what it is. Um, I think it's the importance of having something on the car, definitely worth thinking about if you've got something like Revo or something like that, buying a, a Revo switch for 100 quid um, and then putting something like the anti-theft mode on your car each night you leave it, is definitely worth considering. Um, that's really all I can say. I mean, they obviously, by the looks of it, tried to take the car because... Um, I think I'm just going to leave it there, not to bore you anymore. We're going to do some clear, cleaning up, try and get the um, it hoovered now. I've just cleaned down the front seat, just obviously managed to move it. Um, I brought it around to my parents and we're, um, we're just going to get it taped up and um, get it over to Auto Glass to get fixed at some point soon. Um, but there's glass everywhere and um, yeah, it's just really really annoying um it's disgusting really for the sake of a hundred quid of a stereo which is what they've taken okay potentially they could have taken the whole car uh, maybe that was their intentions um but yeah it's just just ridiculous yeah but anyway look i'm gonna leave it there guys um i posted this really obviously as a final note is about security um so definitely worth thinking about that if um, if you have a car which is potentially uh, something that's quite hot at the moment and has always been, you know, the STs and, and the Ford. So uh, any car really, but look, um, thanks for watching again and um, I'll catch you soon.